Today I would like to speak to you about dialogue, specifically about direct and indirect dialogue, when to use them. Hi, this is Denis Ledoux of the Memoir Network. Dialogue is a really an important aspect of your memoir because it enables the reader to hear the voice of your subject. There are two kinds of dialogue that will do this. There is direct dialogue. Here's an example. I am so pleased that you have come, said mother. I am so pleased that you have come, is direct dialogue. When you write, my mother said that she was pleased that I had come. That is an example of indirect dialogue. Indirect dialogue is introduced by the word that, either specifically on the page or understood. Okay, you have direct and indirect dialogue. When do you use either? You would use direct dialogue when you are sure of the words of the person you are quoting. Uh, if you are using many words, that is very important. If you use something very short, like welcome home, of course you can make that up. Nobody's going to question you about that. But when you write a longer dialogue, then you need to be sure that these are the words of the person. And uh, an example of what I believe is ineffective use of direct dialogue was in Frank McCord's Angela's Ashes, where he goes on for a hundred words, purporting that this is the dialogue of a person, uh, and that he, as a six-year-old, retained the memory of this dialogue. It's pure fiction. And to me, it vitiated uh, Angela's Ashes. Um, the other... Um, the other dialogue, indirect dialogue, is the dialogue that you use when you are either not sure exactly what the person said. Uh, my mother said that uh, if I were ever to do this again, that she ought to uh, be part of it because she could really help me. So this kind of goes on. You're not quite sure what might have happened. So you put that in the indirect dialogue. Indirect dialogue is also a, a time when you can give information. In a subsequent video, I will talk to you about information giving. For right now, just let it lie that information giving does not belong in direct dialogue. It belongs in indirect dialogue. I hope that you have liked this video. Uh, and if you have, please leave me a favorable rating below and leave a comment. If you want more information on how to write dialogue or any other aspect of memoir writing, please mosey over to the Memoir Network where my blog has some 500 articles that are sure to help you to write the best memoir you are capable of. And remember, whatever you do today, write a bit on your memoir. Thank you.